In this video, we're going to look at 2016 biology paper 2 for the internal candidates question 2. Alright, so the information that we have is uh, uh, figure 2.1 shows the effect of pH on the rate of enzyme catalyzed reaction K and M. So these two reactions are enzyme catalyzed reactions. We have reaction K and reaction M. Reaction K is taking place in the acidic conditions from 0 to 6, whilst reaction M is taking place in the alkaline condition. You can see that from 8 uh, going up there. And uh, you can see that this is 7 here is neutral. Okay? But A, what term is given to pH at J and L? So, you can see that here, this is like the reaction started here and then this was like the, the peak, the maximum here. The maximum reaction took place here. Okay? Even here, this is the maximum. So, since J and K are at maximum, so what do you call this maximum in, 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 in biology? This is the optimum pH. Okay, so we're going to say, so we're going to say the term that is used to describe the pH at J and L is optimum pH. Alright, so we are saying pH, optimum pH, because these two reactions are involving the pH and not the temperature. If this, these two reactions were involving the temperature, then point J and L was going to be optimum temperature. Then B says, explain why the rate of reaction K and M goes down after point J and L respectively. So you can see that after point J and L, the rate of reaction K and the rate of reaction M went down. Now, the question is, why did this happen? Okay, that's what they are asking us. So you're going to say at point J and L, which is the optimum pH, the rate of reaction started going down because the enzymes started getting denatured since each enzyme has specific pH. So at point J and L, the rate of reaction started going down because the enzyme, the enzymes started getting denatured since each enzyme has a specific pH. Okay? Right, but C says, name the regions of the alimentary canal where reaction K and M take place. Okay, reaction K and M take place. Where in the alimentary canal, where reaction K and reaction M take place. So reaction K is the acidic is in the acidic conditions. So where in the alimentary canal is the acidic condition? Okay? So that's in the stomach because the stomach is acidic. Okay? And then reaction M, which is alkaline, this reaction takes place in the duodenum. Okay? So we are saying reaction K, which is in acidic state, uh, takes place in the stomach so it's a stomach and here it's a, it's in the duodenum so by this you get your two marks then d1 suggest one enzyme which can catalyze reaction m okay reaction m reaction m we said reaction m is under alk alkaline so now what enzymes act in the duodenum okay in the duodenum where it is al alkaline. What enzyme? So there are a lot of enzymes that act in the alkaline condition that is in the du duodenum. Um, but here we are only going to answer to, to write one. One of them is pancreatic amylase. Pancreatic amylase. Okay. 
pancreatic amylase that converts starch to maltose. Another one, I'll just mention it, is pancreatic lipase that converts fats or lipids to fat acids. Then the next question, part two, says state one food nutrient which can be catalyzed in reaction K. Okay? Reaction K, which is in the stomach. What food is broken down in reaction K, which is in the stomach? The food that can be broken down in the stomach, which is under acidic conditions, is uh, the protein or the proteins. Okay? All right, the next question says, state two factors other than pH which affect enzyme activity. So apart from the pH, another factor that affects the enzyme activity is uh, the temperature. So temperature is one of them, temperature. Apart from the temperature, we also have enzyme concentration. Apart from enzyme concentration, so we're only going to write two, these two, but I'll just mention another one. Another one is substrate concentration. Okay? Thank you very much for watching. If you are new to this channel, please consider to subscribe, hit the like button, comment, and share. And by doing all these, you would have collected yourself uh, nine marks.